and today I am going to be having a go at making something that I've seen shared quite a bit on the DIY on a budget page. So you might have seen these window mirrors that can cost hundreds of pounds from places like Ikea, but I've seen people making their own for next to nothing on the page, so I thought today that I would give it a go myself. Okay, so the majority of the materials for today were bought from B&Q, so the things that I bought from there are one frameless mirror, which is 600mm by 450mm, two long pieces of spruce timber, which is 1800 by 34 by 18 mil one pot of Gorilla Glue, one half litre tin of black matte paint, one paintbrush set, and then the things that I'm using of my own are saws, just hand saws, and also a sandpaper block, which I'm hoping will do the trick. I've also bought some materials for a second mirror because I'm gonna show you a budget version and then a super budget version. So for the super budget version, I've bought the same mirror. So I've bought that mirror twice and I've also bought some black electric tape as well to kind of recreate the frame and the, what the wood would be doing in the first version. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay guys, so we're out in the garden. I've got my wood, which I'm about to measure and saw then I'm gonna sand the edges that I've sawed so it's ready for painting and then I'm gonna paint it. Okay guys, I have sawed all the pieces down to the right size. Truly one of the worst jobs I've ever attempted. It was just really difficult without having like the wood clamped in place and it was time consuming, I'm not gonna lie. So just be warned if you're gonna attempt this, it's a lot of work that part, but hopefully the worst is over. I'm gonna sand these pieces down, get them to the exact measurements and then we'll start painting. So I've just finished painting the planks of wood for my first mirror and I thought while I'm waiting for those to dry I would get started on my second mirror which is the budget 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 mirror where we're going to use electrical tape and a mirror that is it so um, it's not that thick electrical tape considering how thick the wood is so I don't know how this is going to compare looks wise I don't know if it's going to look a bit weird but we shall see I've just finished and in all fairness that does not look nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. It actually looks quite decent. The only problem that I'd say I encountered was that because as you pull electrical tape out it kind of stretches a little bit so it's not just a given that it'll go into a straight line like it would with say masking tape. Not that I'm suggesting that you should use masking tape because that would look weird. Um, but because it stretches it can kind of look a bit wonky in places even though you've gone in a straight line if that makes sense um so that's one problem but actually aesthetically you could probably get away with that especially if you're not looking at it really close up you definitely could get away with that as a budget option but also a much easier option as well okay guys these aren't actually meant to be dry for a little while yet but it looks like it might rain plus i'm impatient so i'm just going to start gluing them on the mirror and see how it turns out mm -hmm. 